death in me by that which is good. Because you're supposed to keep the good, but if you don't, then you're going to die. <laughs> that sin by the commandment might become exceeding full, exceeding sinful. But we know that the law is spiritual by a carnal sword on the sin. Right. right. I already read this, but uh, I'm going to do another video over this about another, another time. But the point is, a lot of people say, oh yeah, when you worship uh, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, his son, then you're doing idol worship. No, I just read it to you right there. Ooh, the Heavenly Father killed that off. So now we are betrothed unto his son, Yahweh Shai. And then therefore, we do not commit adultery when we go to his son. But we worship the Father in the name of his son. That's what we do. Because he came to save us. Because the father kicked us out. <laughs> and then his son, he sent his son to come and adopt us back. Romans chapter 9 speaks about that. Right. So, <clears throat> John 17 and the rest of 21. That they also may, may be one in us. That the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou gavest me... I have given them that they may be one even as we are one Hebrews 1 and 1 Yahweh who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets this is how the Lord talks to people had in these last days spoken unto us by his son so when were the last days 2,000 years ago. Yeah. Because he was here 2,000 years ago, right? Well, th those were the last days. We are in the last stretch of the last days. Which is two days ago, if you read the first name. Second Peter? Second Peter 3 and 6 on down. Second Peter 3 and 8, if I'm correct. <sighs> 3, 3, 3. No, yes, it was three and eight. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Right? So, two days ago, the Lord came, and you can find that here, by the way. Hosea chapter two. I'm oh, sorry, Hosea chapter six, verse two. That's another one. Come and let us return unto the Lord, for he had torn. And he will heal us. He had smitten. And he will bind us up. After two days will he revive us. Hey, we're waking up right now actually. If you think about it. In the third day. He will raise us up. We're being, we're being revived. Like hey. Wake up. Wake up. Hey. Get out of slavery sleep. Nigga. You ain't no nigga no more boy. You were Jacob the singer. Right. In the third day he will raise us up and he will live in our in, uh, I'm sorry and we will live in his sight that's about the time when we finna go get these places <laughs> I already be looking at these but I'm window shopping I don't know if you noticed but you know I don't really go out there trying to travel and stuff like that I ain't got money for that shit what I be doing is I'm sitting here behind the computer screen and just looking at places Mm -mm -mm. Just thinking, like water I'm a bit about to drink, and um, you know, swimming. And then I go swimming. I mean, not with some cave monkeys around me, filthy in the water. I'm like, ew, get out the water, devil! You sicken in the water. Oh, some sharks are attacking you today. Yeah. Oh hell no, I'm going in this water. You don't know what the hell is down there. <laughs> Some monsters, I don't even want to know. I would not go in this water. I don't know what's down there. But when I get that spiritual power, I'm going. I'm going to go there, talk with the little homie fishes and stuff like that. I'm just going to do fun things, man. That's in the Apocrypha. The Lord said that there will be an innumerable amount of pleasure. Unstoppable. It will never cease. That means infinite, if you don't know. Infinity of uh, pleasures. And not just on this world. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> There's space. Space is there too. 
<laughs> oh boy. So the Lord said after two days, he will smack the stuffing out of us trying to wake us up. <laughs> Get up. And the third, he will raise us up. Then we will stand up upon our feet. And that's about the time for war. Yeah. The exceeding army. That's uh, This is the Ezekiel chapter... Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 1 until 14. Yeah, that's this here. Right here. And we will live in his sight. That's the book of Isaiah chapter 60. When we have the power. And then we will have the kingdom. Then we sh then shall we know if we followed on to know the Lord. His going forth is prepared as the morning. Yeah, because every morning comes whether you whether you are dead or not the morning will come it's prepared by the Lord every day for the sun to pop up and show itself it's a hundred percent sure that's the same way of the Lord he's a hundred percent sure and we shall come oh, sorry and he shall come unto us as the rain which is prosperity because if rain comes it's vegetable nutrients plants some fruits everything is gonna grow that's how we're gonna grow and be prosperous and the latter and former rain on the earth, right? Which is the uh, spring and autumn. If I'm correct, this is the spring and this is the autumn. I looked it up one time because it, 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 it looks backward to me. See, the former rain is supposed to be the spring. And the latter rain is supposed to be the autumn. But I looked it up and it says... There are two general rainy seasons mentioned in the scriptures, yes or no? The early or former, see? Wait, former? Is, is he? Autumn rain? October, November? And the latter spring rain, March, April, which is the first month of the year, by the way, this one, March. Right, so, you see? They say the latter rain is the spring. I don't know about that. Ladder, it means the end, right? So, I would think it would be autumn. But then again, I don't know. I don't know 100%. But it doesn't really 100% matter. It actually does matter to me in my head because I want it to be correct. But I'm not sure because these snake tongue fiends, I don't know what they're doing because ladder is supposed to be at the end. And former is the one that is before or or actually the past yeah behind yeah yeah my former girlfriend and my latter girlfriend you know you see you see what I mean latter times for example meaning huh present or recent latter day no. Um, occurring, situated near. Yeah, to the end of something. Okay, maybe that's the new speech. Okay, maybe, uh, you see, late. Late at night. Later. Denoting or... Uh, the, the, denoting the second. Mm, right. And then the former would be then... Would then therefore would be then therefore first having previously yeah like before like my former girlfriend and my latter girlfriend and the one that I have now for example and the former would be then therefore the one that I had before so I don't know what this is all about but hey we just I just know that it one one is the spring and one is the autumn in the autumn it's a kind of coldish rain and in the spring, it's the rain to make the plants grow and the trees and the grass and stuff like that. But the thing is, these are 100% coming and the Lord is also going to be 100% coming. So yeah, you can read the rest for yourself if you have the time. Let me go on now. It says here in the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 1 verse 2. And in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he had appointed heir of all these things, by whom also he made the worlds, not just one world, 
who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged out sins the Lord did that sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high so this shows you that the Lord Jehovah Shai, he came and he actually purged uh, himself from sin and, and also his, his purging us until this day and he's sitting on the right hand of the Heavenly Father so that shows you that he's not the Heavenly Father being made so much better than the angels as he had by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they Yahweh Shai he the deliverer he is the one that delivers us from well from death that's the last deliverer that he will do and he will do it by the way just as sure as the rain cometh that's as sure you should be that um, he will do it he will do what he said as it is written for unto which of the angels said he at any time thou art my son this day have I begotten thee and again I will be to him a father and he shall be to me a son he said that to Solomon and who do you think Solomon is <laughs> If you read the book of Matthew 16, you will you will know and believe in the reincarnation. You will it will it says it right there, mm -hmm. and also the book of Matthew 11. Go read it. You will see the reincarnation, and Malachi 4. Read those three chapters. You will see. And there's more, like John 9 or something, or Luke 9. But let me go on. Six, and again when he bringeth in, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world he said and let all the angels of the heavenly father worship him and the angels he said of the angels he saith who make it his angels spirits is the book of psalms 104 and his ministers a flame of fire which are the angels but are the uh, uh, the prophets also but unto the son he saith thy throne O power is forever and ever a scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom and by the way he said this to um, Solomon in 2nd Samuel 7 no, right. yeah here 2nd Samuel 7 you can read that if you have the time you will see that one and uh, this one is Psalms 110. Yeah, you can read that if you have the time. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, Yahweh, even thy power, if therefore power, even thy power, had anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. So he's above us. That's why we worship him. We fall down on our knees for him not for our fellow servants the angels you don't bow to them matthew 13 and 9 who had ears to hear let him hear and the disciples came and said unto him why speakest thou unto them in parables he answered and said unto them his disciples this one these were the people these were the disciples because it is given unto you you that came and asked him why do you speak to them in parables because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but unto them it is not given <laughs> they're already condemned <laughs> i don't want to save them that's what the lord literally said right here right if you understand for whosoever hath to him shall be given they didn't even have any faith in him in the in the first place to begin with because he says that um, a prophet is not beloved is not known within his own city they didn't love him that's the point so he didn't love them back <laughs> and he shall have more abundance but if you love him he shall give you more faith and more power but whosoever had not from him shall be taken away even that which he had let me go get what I just said actually and then... mark six and four but Jehovah said unto them a prophet is not without honor but in his own country and among his own kin and in his own house and 
he could there do no mighty work not because he couldn't like he, he didn't have the power no save that he had laid uh, sorry save that he laid his hand upon a few sick folk and healed them and he marveled because of their unbelief and he went and he went round about the villages teaching so because they didn't believe he didn't show the miracles uh, where is that again I'm actually looking for the other one actually this one if I'm correct This is what I'm looking for. I'm correct. Five, six, five, eight. Yeah, uh, Matthew. No, sorry, Matthew thirteen. It was the same chapter. <laughs> Matthew thirteen and fifty-six, and they were offended in him. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get that story. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Matthew thirteen. Let me get the rest. Oh, so kind of stupid. <laughs> it's the same chapter, so it says it. Matthew 13 and 53 and it came to pass that when Yahweh had finished these parables he didn't want them to get it he departed thence and when he was come into his own country he taught them in that synagogue in so much that they were astonished at him astonished and said when said this man when said this man this wisdom and these mighty works it's not is not this the cop of the son? Is not his mother called Mary? And his brethren James jo and Joseph and Simon and Judas? See that Judas is not an evil name? Actually, Judas is Judah. They just messed around with the word. As devils always do. You know, snake tongue demon. So it's actually Judah. And his sisters which were not mentioned so we don't I don't know all of their names I don't know exactly precise how many sisters he did, did have by the way because it doesn't mention it going on are they not all with us they grew up with us whence then had this man all this all these things and they were offended in him just like how you had these guys say that in the cribs Snoop responds to the rumors that he was kicked out of Long Beach because he came from Long Beach, right? Long Beach and stuff like that. You know, uh, Rolling 20s, Crips, talk, S Snoop Dogg not being allowed in the hood anymore. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I got a, I can't call that thing. I have a, a VPN on, so yeah, it doesn't matter. So yeah, I'm a, you know, Snoop Dogg denies being kicked out. Let me see what's here. Basically, these are the same people that he grew up with, and now they're talking shit, talking about, fuck you, nigga. I grew up with you, nigga. You ain't shit. You ain't gangster. You a sucker, nigga. I used to lace your boots and stuff like that. I taught you everything you know about the street, sucker. You never shot nobody. All that shit you talking about in them gangsters, motherfucking movies, you know, they did rap shit. I ain't shit, nigga. You a liar. <laughs> Those dudes, they hating on them cool and they did the same thing to y'all shy they was like i know you i grew up around you man so you you ain't all that bad you ain't all that wise man get out of here man i'm offended in you you know <laughs> and they were offended in him but y'all shy said unto them a prophet is not without honor save in his own town and in his own house and he did not many mighty works there because of their unbeliefs. Right. 
So Matthew 13 and 12. For whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away even that he had. So even the little belief that you kind of had, the Lord is going to take that away from you too. You know, for example, you have certain people that they don't believe in the Bible, the Bible, the, all of the Bible. They're just believing Jesus and love. Well, the Lord is going to even take that from you. You're going to turn to Satan openly. Satan is my savior. He freed me from all sin. There is no sin in him. Therefore, speak I to them in parables because he doesn't want you. Because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of uh, Isaiah, Isaiah, which is the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, verse 9, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is wax gross. And their ears are, are dull of hearing. And their eyes they have closed. Lest at any time they should see with their eyes. And hear with their ears. And I should, sorry. And should understand with their heart. And should be converted. So lest that all this happen. And I should heal them. Nope, he doesn't want that. Because if you actually convert and you understand with your heart, which is your mind, and you hear with your ears, and you see with your eyes, then he would have to heal you. Because you fulfill you clicked all the all the thinkers, you know, all these things. You clicked all the marks. You passed all the the things that oh, check. Uh, check okay, there's check. Do I have my toothbrush? Check. Do I have my uh, sunglasses? Check. I don't wear sunglasses, but I'm just, I'm just giving up something. Uh, do I have my hair products? Check. Do I have uh, this? Check. Okay. You checked all the checks. Then he would have to heal you. But he's not going to do that. Because he's going to make you stupid so that you wouldn't understand. Just like how he made the heart of the Pharaoh heart. Because the Pharaoh wanted to let him go. Let me see. Pharaoh was begging Moses. <laughs> Check this out. Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron in haste. He was like, G -g -g get over here. Please, please, G -g get him over here. And this is what he said. This is also what you don't see in the movies because they're lying to you. Snake them devils. And he said, I have sinned against Yahweh, your God, and against you. Right? Verse 6. I don't really like this page, but yeah. Um, where did I just read? 16. Okay. Now therefore, forgive, I pray thee, my sin only this once, and entreat Yahweh, your God, that he may take away from me this death only. And he went out from Pharaoh and entreated the Lord. So he talked to the Heavenly Father, Moses did. And the Lord turned the mighty strong west wind, which took away the locusts, and cast them into the Red Sea. There remained not one locust in all the coasts of Egypt. But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, <laughs> so that he would not let the children of Israel go. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand toward heaven that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even darkness, which may be felt. You can just, mm, you can, you can just feel it, the thickness. You can just feel it. But the point is that he didn't, he didn't want to fight no more, man. He gave it up. But the Lord was like, uh-uh-uh. I want you to fight on, boy, because I can boss you down even harder. Because remember, you enslaved my people for almost 400, no, 400 years by now. And this is the day, the year actually, that I'm going to take them out of here. You know? I'm going to kill your firstborn son. Punish you for all the work that we did. 
which is also going to happen to the modern day Mount Pharaoh, which are the so called Caucasian people, the modern day Egyptians. You're going to pay for slavery, whether you like it or not. The Heavenly Father is going to do unto you like He did unto the ancient Egyptians, which are Hamites, by the way, which means dark skinned, woolly haired people that we look like them and they look like us. Right. So, now this is the book of. Oh, I read that. Right. Joel chapter 2, verse 32. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahweh shall be delivered. For in Mount, in, 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 in Mount Zion and in, in, in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. Wait a minute. Did I just read correct? Hmm. No, it mustn't be. It, it couldn't be. It can't be. <laughs> For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall deliverance be. And Yahweh had said, And, and, in the remnant whom the Lord shall call of the nation of Israel. Right. Might not want to believe it, but here it is. Acts 2 and 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel. Hear these words. Which one? The one that I just read here. And these. Yahweh of Nazareth, a man approved of the Heavenly Father among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which Yahweh did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also knew. Luke 1 and 68 Blessed be Yahweh, the power of Israel, for he had visited and redeemed his people and had raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of David, sorry, of, of his servant David. And he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should, we should be safe from our enemies. And from the land of all that hate us, sorry, the hand in the lands that we are all over the world, by the way, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life and thou child shall be called the prophet of the highest by the way this is john the baptist for thou shalt go before the face of the lord to uh, prepare his ways which is mentioned in isaiah chapter 40 to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins to the tender mercy of our God Yahweh our power whereby the day sprang from on high had visited us yeah the day sprang like when the sun comes up to give light to them that sit in darkness of our people and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace and the child grew and waxed strong in spirit and was in the desert till the day of his sowing unto Israel this is in the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 1 if I'm correct let me see Right. The voice of him that cried in the wilderness, "Prepare ye the way of the Lord; make straight in the desert of the huh? make straight in the desert a highway for our power." Right. That's uh, that's somewhere here. I just read that somewhere here. Mm. <laughs> I literally just read that somewhere here. Sorry anymore
Yeah, the desert, but... Um, okay, you can read it for yourself, because... <laughs> right. Matthew tw 1 and 20. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of Yahweh appeared, <clears throat> appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her, conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. And she brought, she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save thee his people from their sins just like how you have here our us and we and that's the same thing here his people Romans 9 and 4 no no Romans 9 and 1 until 4 I say the truth in your house I lie not my conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart for I could wish that myself were accursed from Yahweh Shai, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. And who are those? Who are Israelites? Another question mark. To whom pertained the adoption? We are adopted back by Yahweh Shai. And the glory, the power, the beauty, and the covenants, the first covenant and the second covenant. And the giving of the law was only given to Israel. But everybody else in the world is going to actually, they're going to, they're going to keep it all right. They're going to keep it all right. Isaiah chapter 2 shows that. And the service of power. Because Exodus chapter 4, it explains to you that, let my people go, said, let my son go so that he may serve me. And the promises was only given unto the Israelites. Isaiah 45, 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. So it's never going to go away. It's always going to be uh, the Israelites. The Israelites are not going to be done away with. It's everlasting. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. We are the world. We are the world. You remember that song? Cool cat. Now this is for the heathen nations. They have a problem with me reading that uh, the salvation is for the Israelites only. <laughs> You're going to be in the kingdom of heaven, all right? You're going to be there in chains and whoop your ass. That's what's going to happen to you. Just like how we got our ass whooped. Slavery. Remember that? Yeah. There's a payback for that. Psalms 2 and 1. Why do the heathen rage? <laughs> Gracious man, God loves everybody. <laughs> really? Did he love us in slavery? You, yeah, but you're a nigger. You, you don't deserve that nigger. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, um, that, that was back then, man. You're racist. You're so fucking racist. You're full of hate. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Fucking tomato. You turn red. And the people imagine a vain thing. They're vain as shit. One of the vain things of theirs is... Flying reindeer will come and give love to all people. Oh, love all over, all over the place, all over the place, all over the place. Yeah. Was the love for the slave descendants and the Native Americans in the time of, uh, you know, when you had your fun? <laughs> now they turn red. Lobster. Tomato. Second verse. The kings of the earth set themselves. <laughs> Suckers. And the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed Yahushai saying let us break their bands asunder because they don't want to have the rules of the Heavenly Father and cast away their cords from us because they don't want to be tied unto the Lord with a chain around their neck so they put them chains around our necks and they did they did they did they had fun cool okay. he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh <laughs> what do you think you're doing it's like a dog trying to get away from a uh, eagle. Where do you think you're going? You, you think you outrun me? <laughs> right. That's real funny. The Lord shall have them in derision. Delusional. You're tripping. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath. Once that time comes, your boy. Man, he going to give his men spiritual power. And that's going to be like... Vroom! death 
and vex them in his sore displeasure. He hates you, just like how you hate him and his son and the sons of him, which are the Israelites. Yashalala. Yet have I set my king upon my holy mountain of Zion. Yahweh Shai. I will declare the decree, a written law. Yahweh had said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And by the way, it's also written here. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. <laughs> You're going to have the message, slaves. And the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. That's what the Lord is going to get. And we're going to be joint heirs with the Lord. So that's why I'm window shopping. You have all these countries. In Europe. You have all these countries in Europe. You know. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Would be beautiful if my servants, my slaves, will build a house here for me. So I can just stare at the, I, w I wanted to say the nothing, but this is not nothing. If I look out the window right now, I see nothings but buildings and concrete. I do have a lot of vegetation here, but uh, still, mm -hmm. this looks better. Right, uh, this would look great if this was my, my backyard. You know, even in the ice, I would actually like to look outside. And we're going to have powerful bodies so wherewith we can actually just take a dip here in this water and not even get wet. How about that? How about that? You just go on the water, not get wet whatsoever. You think I'm, think I'm, think I'm making this up? Okay. Now, you have the book of uh, Daniel chapter 3, which shows that... Janet, by the way, this is Yahweh Shai also. He came. Daniel 3 and 24. Then Nebuchadnezzar the, Nebuchadnezzar, the king was astonished. He was like shocked and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? Then answered, they answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose. <laughs> okay. Because it was three, right? He said, Wait, what? I, I think I see four down there. What, what the hell is that? Walking in the midst of the fire. And they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Oh, shit, that's an angel. That's what Nebuchadnezzar saw. He's like, wait, wait a minute. That, 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 that's, the, that's the Lord's son, right? He saw it and he was like, <gasps> but nearly had a heart attack. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said, Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of Yahweh, the Most High Yahweh, come forth and come hither. Then Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth out of the midst of the fire. And the princes, wait. I skipped over the part where the fire didn't hurt them. Where, where is it? Let me see. Yeah. Maybe it's, it's gonna wait. It's gonna say I think. Uh, the, and the princes, the governors. Uh, sorry, the, and the princes, governors, and captains, and king's counselors being gathered together saw these men upon whom. Oh yeah, here it is. Upon whose body the fire had no power, nor was a nor was an hair on their head singed, neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. So if the Lord can do that with fire, and you know how hot this fire was, let me read on, it's gonna show you. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the power of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who had sent his angel, that's the Heavenly Father, sent his angel, Yahweh Shai, the Son of God. And you, see that they knew, they knew, they knew the Lord. See, back in the days they knew the Lord. And yield their bodies, 
that they might not serve nor worship any god other god except their own god yahweh therefore i make a decree that every people nation and language which spake any thing amiss against the power the god of shadrach meshach and abednego shall be cut in pieces <laughs> yeah he would kill you if you spake against our lord and their houses shall be made a dunghill he will burn your house to like 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 uh like maui <laughs> maui houses check this out you got them houses in maui burn burn to burn 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 to burn right yeah this was this one was be left of your house just like in california everything all neat how can this stone be evaporated but this stone is still alive and kicking and these trees, man, there's some strong ass trees, man. I never seen some strong ass trees like that. Shit, they're strong as hell. So all this is, even this wood over here, like, <laughs> that's some strong fences. Hey man, uh, there was a, like a tornado over here in the Netherlands. Oh, the fences. It's not even a tornado. It was a little bitty wind. Fence is blown by wind. Yeah, like this, right? I think it was it was this year, beginning of the year, or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I can't see the date. I think it was last year, last year, or beginning of this year. I'm not I'm not sure anymore. Yeah, time flies. I have no idea of concept of time sometimes. Yeah. Anyway, so. This is what all happened all over the place. And you had stronger ones than this that got toppled up, you know, toppled down. And the trees was all messed up and stuff, you know. Yeah. But yeah, you got little tiny winds that will beat the stuff inside of these things. And here you have the most extreme fire that can melt cars. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. It can melt freaking this thing over here. It melt. It melted. These things melted. And this is Maui. This is not California. In California, you got a lot of pictures. But what you gonna do about it anyway? All these pictures that y'all see, right? All this melted stuff. You know, the aluminium melted and stuff like that. Look at here. Look at here. See, 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 see. This is Maui wildfire. You got melted shit. Aluminium melted. And you got trees standing strong and tall, <laughs> towering over you, right? She, you got, you got aluminium melting, man. Come on, man. It must be some intense. I don't even use that word, but this is intense fire. <laughs> That's some intense. That's some fire, boy. I tell you, that 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 thing that you see right there. That, that's not uh That's not lubrication. Whether would it, it, that's that's a, a, a melted uh what do you call that thing again man melted the, uh, uh, aluminum aluminum right yeah and the trees are still standing tall but anyway so you had um and you still have fences shit i didn't even notice that i didn't even notice them fences which are also iron and also aluminum aluminium right uh, but what was I looking for again damn where is it now? you know oh yeah the house is sorry it was another picture yeah here these wooden things are just standing I saw this here I said like, what how did well anyway so now that you know what happened to Maui and California all these mel mel molten cars and stuff what are you gonna do about it what you, what you gonna do about it? That's what these are asking. That was the same as that. You, you ain't gonna do shit. Luke chapter 4, verse 5. And the devil, taking him up into a high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them. For that is delivered unto me. The, the wicked is the ruler of the earth. And to whomsoever I will, 
I give it. If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be thine. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship Yahweh thy power, and him only shalt thou serve. But if you are an Edomite, then you will bow to Satan, and he will give you the power of the world. So who can stop you? Nobody. Only the Lord, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Because he will send his son to come and beat you up, and you will die, Esau. The the the, uh, the archangel Michael is gonna come and smite you too, beat you, turn you to a crisp. You know, and, uh, it's gonna be a fun sight to watch. And Lord willing, I get to see it. 